Good morning and welcome to Beeferlink TV, your daily dose of industry information. Today I'm joined by Robert Windsor. Robert is our Member Policy and Compliance Director here at Beefer, and he's here today to talk about some important guidance regarding customs representation. Mm, thank you. To you. Thank you very much, Natalie. Um, this is a very important subject and it crosses my desk more than any other single subject and it's important that members understand their legal obligations relative to customs representation. Sure. This is not a new concept, it first came in in the Customs Code of 1999 but it still does cause confusion. Basically in law, and this has been transferred from EU to UK law when we left the EU, um, there are two, well there are actually three forms but two will be the ones that will impact our members mostly. The first is direct customs um, representation or direct customs agency and the second is when you act as an indirect customs agent. There is a very important difference. In a direct you are acting in the name of and on behalf of the party you are representing in law. So long as you follow the guidelines and the rules it is the party you are representing who is responsible for the customs debt and other related um, issues surrounding that debt. Sure. The second is indirect customs representation. In this case, you are acting in the name of another party. Sorry, you are acting on behalf of another party, but you are acting in your own name. This creates something called joint and several liability. The impact of this is actually quite simple. If something goes wrong and the other party cannot be traced, HMRC will be coming to look as you, to you as the indirect customs agent for the debt. And we have had many cases recently, particularly when you've been representing non-established parties under the Incoterm DDP, where the customs agent has been held liable for the debt and some of those debts are eye-watering, and I'm talking over six figures. We strongly therefore guide all members to act as a direct customs agent. However, we are aware that in certain cases, for commercial reasons, you may have no option but to be an indirect customs agent. The first point we will make at this point is ensure in those cases you have use the BIFA STCs and incorporated them in the contract. That's an important thing. Sure. The second thing is to make sure that you've carried out strong due diligence on the, these issues. Probably a lot of these claims are coming about where people have not done due diligence and they've taken freehand shipments, one-offs from agents they don't know overseas and they've got themselves into a lot of trouble. Due to these combination of factors, what we are doing is for the first time ever is to actually issue guidance on indirect customs representation. And in particular, we are issuing a template which will be in the Beef of Good Practice Guide and it's due to be issued within a couple of weeks which will tell people what to include. I have to emphasise these are firstly based upon the B for SDCs and in particular clauses 17 which is the warranty clause and then clauses 20 and 21 which is basically what you need to do to make sure you get paid. Um, the other thing I will emphasise on this point is actually this is still only a contractual arrangement. Sure. It doesn't give the protection that direct customs agency does but at least it will be something to defend yourself in a court of law. The other point I will make on this very strongly is that the clauses rel relative to the STCs which emphasise that the clauses are subject to English law and that's very important to bring to everybody's attention. Sure. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. And in terms of the good practice guide and the, all the resources that are available to members, they're available on our website, aren't they? They're member only. They are member only. Um, and that's one of the benefits of being a BIFA member. You have access to guidance which you would pay a lot of money for from a solicitor or somebody like that. Sure. Thank you very much, Robert. Thank you very much for your time, Natalie. That's all for today's episode of BIFA Link TV, your daily dose of industry information.